Here we go. I am back. There we go. Done. Ah, it's worked out a treat. All that's left in the other side of the case is a little bit of um, stuff at the bottom. But I can't get it out because you see that black stuff on the side? That's some sort of black glue or something like that. Some shit there. But yeah, that's all right. That's not going to do no harm. Oops. Get it. Let me get it in the viewfinder. Right. They're so funny, these iPhones. I guarantee you, well, the thing is, I'm filming right now. I'm filming directly in the can, all right? But when I play back, it's going to be off center, something like that sort of thing, you know? I don't know. These cameras are not very accurate. But there we go. Uh, yep, so I've cleaned it all out. There's no oil in there. It's all gone. Cleaned it all out thoroughly with some spirit, isopropyl. And I'm going to clean the outside there so it sticks really well to the tape. It's very powerful tape, actually. It's very good. But look at that, eh? What a nice job. There we go. And I've tested it. It's fine. It's really a bit low because it's only a cheapo capacitor, really. I don't know. I should have really checked the other one and put the one with a higher value in before I'd done it. That's one thing you should do. If you've got a batch of these capacitors, just check which one's the... Uh, reads the uh, how can I say reads the true value or near enough to the value that's stated on the capacitor in other words so it says it's supposed to be 2200 it's only reading about 2100 so it's a bit down but it should be fine you know what so what but there we go so what I've done I've drilled two little holes there well I drilled an extra one I decided to put it a bit nearer see what I've done wrapped it around the terminal soldered it same on the other side there we go, and there we go, there we go. So that little burn mark, I don't know, I might, um, yeah, I'll just leave it, I don't know. I'm gonna write on here though with a, a, a pointy pen. What's those pens called? Not pointies, Sharpies, <laughs> get it right. Sharpie pen, I'm gonna put uh, cap changed, like cap changed, there we go. So that's it, I've just gotta uh, put it together now with some of that silver tape. Let's see if I've done this right. Negative, right. There's a negative. Please let it be the right one. Yeah, thank God for that. Oh, I've been fancy taking this out again, desoldering it all. So I bent those two tags in completely. I was trying to solder it to those tags, and it wouldn't solder for some reason. I tried flux, all sorts of things, and the solder just sort of rolled off. So I thought, you know what, I'll just solder it onto there, and it went on straight away. So let's see. Yeah, negative. There we go, negative. Yeah, negative, that's perfect. There we go. So I've just got to set the tape together with the stuff. So just, there we go. So there we go. So that just goes plonk onto there. Try to line it up accurately as it was before. Going to get the writing right. Where is it? There we go. It's something like that. I've sanded it down a bit with some uh, sandpaper. Uh, let's see. How was it? I think it was like that. Yeah. So I'll get it roughly... I'm not even in camera here, so what I mean. Stupid phone. I don't know why they don't put the camera lens in the middle of the phone. They put it on the bloody side. They put it over here. Stupid. iPhone, what's the matter with you Apple people? God almighty, can't even design a phone properly. Maybe camera. Bloody idiots. They should put me in charge of Apple and give me a salary of a quarter of a million dollars a year or something like that. I saw out of the company. All these stupid mistakes they keep making. And pay the workers a decent wage in China. That's another thing. They're overpriced devices and they pay their workers shit money. And I don't want to go into politics, but there we go. Right, so I'm just going to put some tape around this and uh, that's one done. <laughs> Woohoo! There we go. All right, let's finish my beer. It's not beer of Peroni, actually. It's some uh, craft ale, as you call it, over here in, in America, rather. So it's real ales over here. Let's have a sip of this. I'm thirsty as hell. Mm. Oh, that is nice. Oh, that is nice. So I've got one more of these to do, and then I can put that machine together, and hopefully it will work. And that's more bits of uh, tape recorder all in one case again. So I've got bits everywhere. I've got the cover off I'm somewhere in the kitchen. I've got um, the case for it somewhere else. Oh, it's a nightmare. I really need a bigger house with a nice big workshop. That's what I'm after, actually. I've got to sell this place and get out of it. Get out of London. Can't stay in London. There we go. Right, I'm going to add this on now to the channel. And I might uh, join the two videos together and put it on my Vintage Audio channel. I've got a Vintage Audio channel, which is called 
Harvey's Vintage Audio and Real to Real Heaven. I know it's a bit of a mouthful, but yeah, I can be a bit of a, a mouthful. <laughs> that sounds a bit rude, doesn't it? All right, okay, right. So there we go, right. Uh, that's how you restuff a capacitor. If you need any help on all this, just uh, put a little comment below and I shall help you out. But it's a very simple job. I mean, it's not hard. The hardest bit is getting the uh, old crappy capacitor out. You just literally pull at it. And um, as I say, these two terminals that were in there originally, they, I don't know, they just sort of pulled off. I was quite lucky, really. So there we go. Job done. Well, it will be when I put the tape around it. And there we go. So it keeps the originality of it. So somebody in the future, if they open up the machine, they'll see the original capacitors in there and they'll note that it's been changed already. I might even put a label, label on the outside or write it with a Sharpie. Just put cap replaced on and put a date on it. Why not? There we go. All right then, folks. See you all later. Oh, well, I'm going to do some singing uh, when I when I get the time. I've got to set up my new gear. I still haven't done it yet. I'm such a procrastinator. But I'll do something like uh, a bit of D. Martin. We reckon uh, everybody loves somebody sometimes. Do something like that. We'll see. Okay, bye for now. See you later, folks. Enjoy your evening.